Okay, so we are playing the Sicilian, let's go C5, we are practicing against 2000 ELO engine, so uh, he's going for the Alephine Sicilian defense, let's uh, develop the knight, we can take, sometimes the engine even blunder a pawn, uh, not blunder, but gambit a pawn, so let's take, it's not a blunder, sorry, and let's go E6, I guess bishop B5 is coming, okay, so bishop D4, the idea is that it's now really hard to play for D5, uh, yeah, so let's keep develop. Okay, and let's put the bishop here. We can also try to put some pressure on the on the knight, but uh, I want to keep everything solid and not committing any any weakness. Now, <clears throat> knight g4. Basically, you can try to double attack, but after bishop to f4, it doesn't really work. And then we can try to maybe attack the bishop, but we don't really have enough attackers. So we can also play for h6, but then we might even blunder the knight. And also g8 is quite passive. Okay, so let's go for uh, knight g4 anyway. We are trying to basically attack this pawn. And we need to have some space for the knight in case it is going to play h3, which I guess is coming next. So let's play h5. Okay, so we can tuck the knight to safety, just in case. And we, not, we need to make sure not to blunder this pawn, so probably uh, g6 is coming as well. Okay, so basically g6, we can also play for a knight to f5 with a tempo on the, on the bishop, makes some sense. Okay, so of course let's, just, let's take, I don't really want to allow him to mess my pawn structure. Okay, so as you see this is a, seems like a very nice uh, position so far. We can try to put some pressure against e5, we can put some pressure against b2. We can develop the knight, we got plenty of ideas of course. Hmm. Uh, interesting. I guess I want to prevent knight b5 because he got some probably nasty ideas. So let's play for a6, it might be passive but I don't really want to allow him to, to go for this line. Uh, Still able to play for e4, so I guess let's play queen c7, trying to stop any knight to d6. Probably is going to slide the bishop. No. Okay, now of course we still need to be careful because he is probably trying to pressure my knight uh, in order to win win materials. So for now, let's play g6, that just consolidate everything. Okay, now of course uh, I guess the top move is to, to do just take. And yeah, let's try to win this pawn. We can also play with the tempo, queen f4 with the tempo on the rook and the pawn. Make a whole lot of sense. Okay, so of course we can take this pawn now. And if he's going to take, I can take with the b pawn and this is going to be completely fine. So we are up to pawn. Seems like we are in a good spot. Uh, we are ready to castle and also... <clears throat> Let's ask ourselves if, uh, if uh, d5 is good, basically not because we are going to be pinned. So we still cannot play d5 even though it's tempting. e5, don't really believe it's a nice move. So yeah, let's for now short castle. <clears throat> we also have the, the queen as a defender, so just in case um, we are good. And as you see, the idea of queen d6 is basically to prevent us to pl from playing uh, from, uh, for d5, which is a very strong move. So, <clears throat> yeah. And we can try to go for a queen exchange, which I think it's uh, really relevant in this position. Queen exchange is going to be really good for us. Of course, it cannot take because of the bishop. The bishop. Okay, so he declined the trade, so... Let's take it ourselves. We are trying to relieve the pressure because as you see it's not so simple to develop the bishop or to play for d5. Now can we play with the tempo? Basically no. Um, we can try maybe maybe go for a knight b5 because then we got a very nice fork between those two pieces. Let's see how he's going to handle that. Okay, so as you see he's stopping um, b5 by playing the knight there. We can basically uh, exchange and then get some pressure on his position. We can also play for uh, e5. We just need to make sure that there are no any nasty ideas, which I don't really see. 
I guess after e4 he might be trying to exchange but basically this is not going to be dangerous. So let's kick the nut but we, we do need to keep an eye on uh, any weaknesses that we created. Okay so he still went for the sacrifice as I suspected. Um, three piece let's take. Okay which he doesn't even take. Uh, of course we can also play for a e4 with a tempo on the bishop. Don't really see any reason to decline that. Okay, now I guess I will play for a knight b5 anyway. We're going to take and basically <clears throat> now we can just uh, try to uh, to enjoy our uh, being up material. So as you see, this is completely winning for us. We, we have some weaknesses, uh, no doubt, but Overall, we are in a much, much uh, strong position, stronger position. Now, we can also play uh, King G7 because we are trying to stop any Rook H6 ideas. We can also play for uh, Rook A6, which is stopping this idea as well. And also, if we can exchange Rooks, I think that we are going to be, be much better. Also, Rook E6 does make sense. Maybe even fix the pawn structure as much as possible. Uh, yeah, okay, so let's play for Rook A6. We are trying to exchange and as you see it decline now he got a lot of targets which I don't really like but yeah for now let's try to again exchange rooks. Okay so it declined so basically let's take. Now d5 isn't really working you can take. Um, as you see he got some pressure against uh, two of my pawns but I still do believe that we are in a uh, in a good position. So first of all, let's give him a pawn or two, but we're going to improve the position. Okay, so let's play king g6. Of course, we want to take. <clears throat> now, unfortunately, we cannot play for d5 just yet, but <clears throat> um, I think that actually playing for d6 makes some sense in order to exchange but then you can attack yeah not not so easy to develop actually hmm, not so easy to develop okay i got an idea let's play for uh, f6 you can go uh, g5 if you want okay and we are trying to exchange rooks the moment that i'm able to exchange rooks i think that i'm going to be much much better okay now rook e5 trying to exchange okay now even though we got double pawns it doesn't really that's uh, that's scary because as you see we got uh, already enough in order to uh, to stop any promotion threats and basically we're up a piece so let's just take uh, let's go king g5 we're, we are ready to play for uh, d6 uh, bishop okay bishop takes okay and as you see we try desperately, desperately to win one of those pawns but uh, yeah I guess we are much faster we just need to make sure that we are not blundering this game because uh, it's not over until it is. Now you can take the pawn but I can promote. Okay, now in case he's going to take this pawn I can even try to sacrifice the bishop because we're going to be up the promotion. So uh, I don't really like the position of my king if I'm honest but I could probably have uh, played it uh, a bit better but as you see, we are not really afraid to give up uh, this bishop in order to promote. So let's promote in case that is going to push. Now, <clears throat> um, let's try to cut off the king completely. Okay. Um, hmm, how can we do it? Okay, let's bring the king closer. Okay, always uh, make sure that he's got some legal moves. I guess c5 is coming next. No. Okay, now king c5, you can go here. Again, you need to make sure that he always got some legal moves because this might be a dead draw. For example, king to b4 is a draw. So we don't really want to allow that. 
Um, I guess we can take. No, taking is also bad. Okay. Um, check. You can play here. Okay, so check. Okay, now again, this is all also a draw because it cannot. It doesn't really have any legal moves. So no, it's not good. Okay, so let's play uh, Queen C3 in order to relieve him some uh, some space. Now, as you see, he got plenty of space on uh, A2. Okay, now again, this will be a draw. Um, check, you can go up. Yeah, you can go up. We need to be really, really careful about that. It will be a shame to blunder the game after all of this effort. Um, Queen C2, it doesn't have a legal move. Any legal move. Queen D1 passive, but then it got um, King A2 probably. Okay, now we can get the bishop closer, and he still got some space on a2. Yeah, and this will be a mate because as you see, we are basically cutting off uh, his king completely. Yeah, this is a uh, checkmate. Okay, so it was fun, instructive. Uh, now, I don't play the Sicilian often. I used to play it for a couple of games for a period of time, but... Uh, mostly I play for the Karakan against d4, but uh, as you see, I think that this game was actually quite good. Let's see the analyze real quick. Okay, so we played it like 2050, so it was good. Okay, quite accurate, so let's see. Basically, we take another pawn. It's a Smith Moore Gambit. Okay, so e6, basically, we don't really want to create any weaknesses, but d6 was a must. Okay, so d6 probably preventing uh, e5, I guess that's the idea. Okay, knight g4 was actually good. h5, not really, but uh, it felt right at the moment, because now we got a very nice spot for the knight. If we take, I can take with the rook and castle queen side. That's the idea. Okay, now, of course, we want to play with the tempo against the uh, bishop. We take basically as much as we can exchange pieces. Uh, I think that we are going to be uh, better in this position. Okay, and again, g6 weak is weak, but uh, it's basically to <coughs> uh, fix the pawn structure. Okay, of course, we take as you see, we are putting some pressure against this pawn. Okay, the engine doesn't really like it, but I don't really love the idea of this pawn in my position because it can try to maybe. Go for some mating ideas, for example, if you're not careful, and you can maybe sack the knight and uh, sack the rook on the knight and then try to go for the mate on e7. So, the moment that we can uh, totally vanish this pawn, I think that we are better. And again, the idea of uh, rook e8 is in order to go for a uh, queen exchange. Now we take, now in this position after the exchange, it's minus 2. Okay, so we just need to make sure that we are able to exchange more and more pieces. Okay, and the moment that this knight moves, now we can play for a knight b5 with a, a fork between those two rooks. Okay, so he, he decided to give up a piece. We are happily taking. Now this bishop is basically guarding a b5. b5 is, knight b5 is a huge threat. Okay, we allow the, the exchange and this is minus 5. So even though the... I guess the middle game wasn't really, really good. Um, actually, the end game is uh, is getting is getting there completely. We are up the exchange. We got some uh, weaknesses, of course, but uh, we still got a huge advantage. Okay, of course we take. Now we are trying to exchange another rook, simplify as possible, even though we are up. Uh, we got a double up, a double pawns. Um, it's still better for us. Okay. Yeah. So basically, the end game, the end game was good. Okay. Now let's say, for example, if we try to uh, to promote this pawn, sack the bishop doesn't really matter. The moment you got the queen, you're going to be better. Yeah. And as you see, uh, th that was the hard moment of the game to try not to blunder any draw. 
Okay, and yeah, basically this is made. No, no any moves for uh, wiping. Yeah, uh, hope you enjoyed. See you next time.